Welcome to the 55th video of Bangkok Unmasked, the YouTube channel that helps you get the most out of your visit to Bangkok City. If you have a broken TV, I have great news for you. It can likely be fixed, and cheaply too. In this video, I'm going to discuss TV repair in Bangkok, an Amon service centre. Note, not only can Amon service centre do TV repair in Bangkok, they can also do computer repair in Bangkok and electronics repair in Bangkok. Let's get started. A couple of weeks ago, I was heartbroken. The reason? One of my favourite possessions, my 55-inch Samsung UHD TV, developed a seriously annoying fault. The TV was working, but this big white spot appeared slap bang in the middle of the screen. It was the size of a 50 stand coin, about 18 millimetres. Watching TV or playing PS4 games became quite impossible, as all I could do was focus on the damn white spot. My first port of call was the Samsung Service Centre. While the call went comparatively well, since the TV is out of warranty, all they could offer was to replace the entire screen. The projected cost was 22,500 baht, a silly price, as I could buy a brand new 55 inch Samsung HD TV for around 35,000 baht. I started looking into buying a new TV and checked out the prices of 65 inch UHD TVs. When I discussed the cost of a new TV with my wife, she pulled faces and told me that we'd take the TV to Amazon Service Centre instead. I was sceptical, but I'm glad that I did as I was told. We left the TV at Amazon Service Centre and paid a 300 baht service fee. The rep told us to expect a call in 24 hours with a price quote if they could fix the TV. I asked him if my problem was common and if he thought they could fix it. He told me with a big smile, yes, and yes. Literally a few hours later, my wife got a call saying that they could fix the TV for 3,000 baht. If we approved the payment, we could pick up the TV the next day. Obviously, we said yes. So TV Repair Bangkok, Computer Repair Bangkok, and Electronics Repair Bangkok, Amal Service Centre can do it all, and their prices are cheap, or at least, they seem cheap to me. The service is also great. If you've got some broken electronics, I'll see if they can fix the problem before you throw the item or items away. It turns out the Amazon Service Centre have fixed both a computer and a rice cooker for my wife in the past. I did wonder how the broken rice cooker started working again. Note, we went to the Amazon Service Centre branch in Bang Plant. It's conveniently located inside of the Tesco Lotus, Charan Sanat Wong. Uh, you can check out the URL for all the stores above. You'll almost certainly be able to find a store somewhere near you, as they have branches throughout Thailand. There are 23 stores in Bangkok, and stores in most of the major Thai cities. According to the website, they have 100 plus retail locations. Interestingly, the Amon Group has been in business since 1981, and they do a lot more than just electronics retail and repair. They also have a solar cell division, a communications devices division, a racing bicycles division, an electronic meters division, and a retail development group. 19 years in Thailand, and I hadn't heard of them. If I had, I clearly wasn't paying attention. Anyway, that's it for this video. Expect a new video next week. For all you techers out there, this video is shot in a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, an editor using Hit Film Express. To check out details, on arranging a bespoke Bangkok tour with experienced tour guides, please click on the link in this video's description section. Finally, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel through the button below. Also, I'd like to hear from you if you have any questions or comments regarding TV repair in Bangkok, computer repair in Bangkok, or electronics repair in Bangkok. Maybe you know some other places that are also worth checking out. Please do reach out to me through the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.